What's going on guys, the Vapor Rhino here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I got a little special review for you. This is the Fumi FZ by Zombie. Okay? Little uh, RTA over here going on. I saw this and I saw the price on it. It was like seven bucks or something like that. Seven or eight dollars. It's like, wow. You know, and I did a little research on it. Ah, it looked pretty cool. I'm like, you know what, for fucking seven dollars. You know what I'm saying? Why not? So I purchased it, just came in the mail the other day, put a pretty uh, build in it, and uh, well, let me tell you my impressions after we come back up. We're going to take this guy down on the bench, we're going to take it apart, look at the inside, show you what it is, and then we're going to take it back up on the top for the good, the bad, and the ugly. See you when we're back on top. Okay, guys. So I have another little interesting uh, device to show you over here. This is this is hard. This is called the Fumi. The company's name is Fumi. It's made. It's saying it's made by Zombie. The actual name of the RDA is the FZ. Okay. It says the best flavor. Never stop vaping. Okay. Uh, comes in this little plastic cylindrical uh, casing, really nice, not bad. You kind of open up the half. It's got the, you know, it stands on there. It's got this little foam pad over here, you know, with a hole in it. And on the bottom, you're gonna get some uh, uh, baggie of goodies with some O-rings, couple of grub screws right there. No extra spare glass. So I was kind of disappointed in seeing that. And then you have your little Allen wrench on the side over here. Just don't know why they wouldn't put an extra spare glass. I mean, the hole is cut out for it too. It's kind of odd, you know. Or even a stainless steel sleeve. But anyways, uh, so what I want to do is I want to take this thing apart. And I want to like uh, uh, show you this that I just found this is something very, very interesting. Okay. So without any further ado, we're going to take this baby apart. Okay, so uh, there is juice in here. I have been vaping on this, so I'm going to just be really careful, and I am um, going to tilt this to the side to save all my juice. I'm going to take my 510 off so I can lay it flat. Okay, so that is your half of the side right there. There is an O-ring right there in those threads. We're going to put this to the side, and upon opening it up, you're going to get this pretty cool-looking you know, feature right there. Okay. Now there is uh, there is a little uh, airflow ring right over here that comes off. Just be careful. There is another O-ring. By the way, there's going to be a lot of O-rings in here. Okay. And um, I'm just going to, I'm using some paper towels over here because I know when the juice gets on there. So taking this apart. Okay. That comes off and uh, you're going to get this part right over here. No, no, no. Yeah, that also comes off. Okay. And more O rings. Okay. So you have this part where, and this is good for maintaining and cleaning and everything like that. But there is a lot of parts and there is a lot of O rings. But don't let that discourage you. Okay. Let me just wipe that off. Okay. Now, this other bell housing right here, that is just being held on by an O ring. And that just comes off right there. Okay. And it is conical on the inside. And so I am going to take these. Just give me a second. I will take these off. Okay. Okay. So... I just took the wicks out of there just uh, so I could show you. So this is a velocity style deck, okay? Right there, I'll hold it a little up close to you. And uh, the this deck is removable off of the base. So I'm gonna go ahead and say more O-rings on the bottom, more O-rings over there, and there is your base. Solid stainless steel, it's constructed really well, you know? So, So what I want to do over here is I'm going to take these coils off. 
I am gonna go wash all of this and come back and uh, show you the rest. Okay, so these are all the parts, and I know this kind of like looks complicated over here, but uh, it, it really isn't. But my thing is that this, in some crazy way, reminded me of the same concept as the Skatua, okay? Where, you know, you'd have your base, you know? Uh, not that the Skatua's deck is removable, but anyway, so you have your base, and you know, and, and I am aware that the Skatua deck is a three-post deck. This is a, uh, but the part that it has the separate housing that goes on there, and then the part that goes over the top, which would be the tank. In this case, this is stainless steel, and the Skatua tank is an, uh, uh, you know ultim or glass that goes over the whole thing and it doesn't have that separation but the part of the housing the bell housing that goes over the build was very interesting to me and i uh, i wondered when i saw this uh if this would give me a good vape and a good flavor and we'll find out so without any further ado i am going to put on here uh, i'm going to make two little coils on here uh i'll do that really quick uh, without wasting your time, but they're going to be a two and a half millimeter in a diameter, okay? Uh, maybe uh, a seven wraps, okay? I'm going to be using uh, stainless steel right over here, round wire, 24 gauge, okay? All right, guys, so here we are. The two nice little coils, nothing fancy. These are just regular round wire, okay? Got them nice and spaced. So I'm just going to install these really quick. All right. And we're going to go in as far as possible as I can because I'm going to want those coils right over that airflow, which is right there. You see where that little airflow is? It's right there. Okay. So that's your airflow. So I'm going to pull out my, uh, my rod. Once I get it nice in there, nice and centered, okay, I'm going to just pull out my rod. And I'm going to start tightening down on the screws. And remember, as always, don't go crazy. Get your screws. Uh, set them in first. Okay, once it's nice and set, now you can let go. And at this point, you're going to want to snap. Okay. And snap. Just watch your eyes. I always either tend to... Uh, either put my thumb over the end over here, so when I snap the the piece doesn't go flying See and sometimes it sticks right into my thumb Okay, okay, so now I got that going all right, and we'll tighten up all the screws later on Okay, let me just set my second coil in there Well uh, now once we have this let's tighten it down and you don't have to go crazy Okay So, now we want to just straighten out and, you know, and again, center these coils, all right? And I am going to just lower them as much as I can because I want them right on top of that airflow, right there, okay? Again, put your rod in so you can work with them. So if you have to squeeze them together a little bit and then bring them down. And that's about where I like them, right there. Okay? Nice and nice, okay? Here. All right, so the wicking on this is obviously, you know, your wick goes into the coil and then comes out and drops. And as you can see, there's those four little ports. And in most uh, uh, RTAs like this, your wick has got to go through those little ports. And being, here's your little... Side, I'm sorry about that. So, and this is where the juice is being catched by the tank, the overflow that comes down. In this case, these holes are too small. And the first time I wicked this, I wanted to try to shove that cotton in there. And I was like, fuck, this thing is like horrible. Well, I just kind of stopped and looked at it for a while. And I saw that there's this nice little well over here. And there's a little lip right there, as you can see it. Okay. You can see that little lip right there. All right. So what I did is I just had the wick and it come down and I just had it. I had it. The ends of it hover over those holes, but kind of just 
laying at the bottom of the deck as I would a normal RDA. Okay? So, and that's what I did. And uh, it worked out really well. Okay? So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay, so we got our first work in. Okay? All right. So, and... And there we go. And uh, what we want to do right over here is just for right now, I just cut that off, get some stuff out of the way. Let me just zoom out of here because it's kind of just constantly going off of the picture. Okay. All right. And then I'm just going to take one of these guys and just stuff them right in there. So I got that, and then I'm just going to take one of these guys and stuff them right in there. And I'm just going to make sure that they're laying inside the ridges of this well. And if it's a little too long, I'll just cut a little bit short. Same for the other side. Uh -huh. Okay, so the main thing is that you do not want to cover that airflow hole. So just get something and go in there, as you can see. See? And just clear that up. Just neatly pack that cotton between the wall and the wall of the airflow. Because there is another little wall that is on, around the airflow. As you can see, right in there. See it? Let me just see if I can zoom it in, maybe you get a better shot. Right there. See it? So that airflow is completely free. All right. All right, guys, this is it. Now what you're going to want to do right over here is just juice it up a little bit. Get this going, just a little prime. Okay. Just get that going. Take your base. Screw your deck onto your base. Make sure that's nice and snug. So that's part of your... All right. And I just got that messy from me touching it. Okay. All right. Okay. Now you're going to put the first part is you're going to put your bell housing back on and this is just being held by an o-ring. Okay. Right there. Okay, the next part is the sleeve, okay, that's going to go right on top of there. Just always make sure you guys that you have your O-rings, and if it feels like it doesn't want to go, just back it, back it up a little bit. So you don't want to be crossed right in these, there we go. All right, nice and nice, okay, you can put your... Airflow ring back on. Okay. Let's 
screw your diffuser on there. Okay. And in order to fill this tank, okay. And this is how you would fill this tank. Okay, so you got it nice and full. Take your bottom part. Hand tight. And there she is, guys. All right. 510. All right, so we'll take this back on top, test it out, and I'll give you my good, the bad, and the ugly. Welcome back, guys. Vapor Ryan over here. So, the Fool Me FZ by Zombie. So now, I just want to give you a little bit of back history. I am the type of guy that I, I like everything from a board spectrum, from a $5 RDA to the $150 RDA. This is not saying that I'm gonna talk one bad about the other or anything. For me, you know, I, I never heard of this. I saw it, it looked interesting to me, I bought it, and here it is, okay? I, you know, it's machined well. I mean, it, just keep in mind now, this is $7 I spent. You know, it, it's machined really well. Good stainless steel. It's it, it's a three sixteen stainless steel. I mean, this is a, a, a no. It's a three sixteen or three or four. I can't remember what I read. But anyways, uh, you know, and it's working. It's working. It's working nice actually. The flavor out of this thing is like really really crazy good. I am really surprised. So, you know what's coming up next. The good, the bad, and the ugly. So the good. The good is that it's seven dollars. The good is that it's made out of some really nice stainless steel. And it looks nice. I, I, I think it looks cool. You know? The good is that it doesn't leak on me. The good is that the flavor out of this thing is really super good. I mean, uh, it, it's phenomenal, actually. I, I'm really digging it, you know? Uh, it's just, I, I love the drop. I love the RTAs that have the tanks on top and the juice drops down. To me, that uh, it wicks that coil that much faster in case you want to chain vape you know you probably say oh you shouldn't chain vape on something so small why not why not if it's built well it should be able to handle it flavor is really coming out of here phenomenal Produces an excellent vapor production. I'll fog out this room and these coils will not dry out on me. I mean, it's really fantastic. Uh, the bad. The bad is that these fucking O-rings are so ugh, in your face. Now, this part of it gets covered on the inside, but that part over there, man. I gotta try to take this tank out and see if I can find me like a regular O-ring, like a black one at least, or even a white one would do nice. I don't know where they got this green color. Uh, there really is no other bad. There really is no other bad that I can see on this, except that I wish that they made a bigger one. That would have been really fucking cool. And again, I kind of, you know, like I said, I, the, the, when that bell housing went over that build, over the deck build, it reminded me of the Skatua. You know, being that the only difference is, is that the Skatua has got the three post deck on it. This has a velocity deck on it, but that deck is removable, which led me to believe that there's a possibility of an interchangeable deck. Now, I went on the website and it's 
Oh, the website is screwed up because all this writing comes up and uh, and it's fumi.com, F-U-U-M-Y, you know, dot com. And, uh, you know, trying to get some more information on this and there really wasn't nothing on there. Uh, I looked it up online and it was just, a, you know, some reviews, not a lot. Um, and then some other places of where they had this for sale. That's about it, which is really odd. I don't know if like, hey, they just made some of it, you know, and they didn't go well or something, but I, I'm, I'm having a, an actually a really fun time with this little RTA on here. I believe, I, I mean, I believe that this is working for me. Maybe it's just the way I like to vape. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to pass it on to you guys. The ugly is, there really is no ugly except for like, again, the, that uh, that O-ring. I kind of like the way this tank looks. Uh, you know, yeah, it would have been nice if, uh, you know, the the top part, they would have given an extra, uh, a, maybe uh, a frosted glass or uh, maybe another stainless steel sleeve. I, you know, that would have just been like an add-on as far as option goes. Now I've been vaping at this, uh, uh, the build came out to a 0.16 and I've been vaping it at 40 watts. I do want to push it up to 55 watts and um, let's see what happens. I'm just getting a slider harder vape. Nothing crazy though. Still not getting like a, a dry hit. Actually the flavor is even a little bit more better. Probably wouldn't chain vape but at higher wattages, you know, give it enough time for that juice to uh, you know the core, the wicks to suck up some of that juice and stuff but other than that I've actually been having really fun with this I just wish they you know like I said that there was a little bit more information out there there really isn't uh, and if they had a bigger one I would definitely look into getting a bigger one of these Maybe like a 25 millimeter or 28 millimeter one would have been even cool. Well, guys, that's ends our video. Again, thank you for watching. This is the Vape and Rhino. If you like my videos and if you're enjoying them, please consider hitting that like button and please consider subscribing. I do my best to bring you all the products that I can to you. Uh, again, I do purchase my products and do not get them for free. So it's whatever I get my hands on that uh, I will show you guys. And uh, I'm pretty uh, open-minded about, again, my range from $5 to $150. It doesn't bother me. I just want to bring it out to you guys and give you my input on it. Uh, I do want to mention, though, that I am trying to dedicate the month of February to Mech Month. So please stay tuned for that if you guys want to... Uh, hear about some mech mods uh, that's going to be done in the month of February so it will be February mech month okay guys again this is the Vapor Rhino thank you for watching and until then I'll catch you on my next review